Hello people, Breath of the Wild Tips here, and today I will be showing you how to get the Travel Medallion. The Travel Medallion is the thing I'm showing you on screen, it's a little blue thing. And um, what it allows you to do is you, you place it down on a place, and then you get to warp where you put it. It basically allows you to teleport anywhere, but you have to pl have place it there first. You have to have gone to that place and place it there. It, it's a little hard to explain, but you'll see what I mean. But first, I'm going to show you how to get it. Okay, the place where it tells you where to start looking for the travel medallion is when you go into the DLC that you purchased. It says the travel medallion has been added. Place it at your current location and you will be able to travel there instantly. There's apparently a book containing rumors about the travel medallion at South Akala Stable. So that's where you have to go. Okay, people, I'm here at the shrine closest to the South Akala Stable. It is right here. So this is where we are right now. I just warped to the shrine. And so let's head over there and see what the book contains. Okay, so now we're in the South Akala stable and you notice there's a book right here. So it says examine. Super Rumor Mill EX Volume 2. EX stands for expansion because it's from the expansion pack the DLC. So you press read. Tracy here, no matter where I go, my love for rumors inevitably follows. Don't you make it a point to dig out rumors while traveling? In any case, today's topic of discussion is the dream of teleportation. Apparently, there was once an ancient medallion that could instantly teleport you to wherever you placed it. What's more, this wondrous item may still be out there somewhere, just waiting to be scooped up. I must say, it sounds like the perfect time for travelers, adventurers, and rumor lovers alike. I hear the treasure chest containing this tool is located beneath a labyrinth in Northeast Akala. Is it true, or is it just a beautiful dream? I'll let you decide that for yourself, dear reader. Tracy's recommendation, five stars. So you heard it from the book. It is in some labyrinth. There are three labyrinths in the game. There is this one. There is this one. And the third one is here, the South Lamai Labyrinth. It's right near Gerudo Desert, as you can see here in the map. And uh, so where the... Um, Travel Medallion is, it's in this one, and basically what the labyrinths are, you go inside them and you have to figure it out, like your secrets and stuff. It looks pretty easy since you have a map of it, like you know where you are, but it is a lot harder than it looks. Once you do it, you get a shrine there, you can warp there, and the main point of completing three labyrinths is you get this cool armor, um, this outfit, it's the barbarian outfit, and it raises your attack level, so I would say it's, it's pretty cool looking. And, um, I like my outfit even better. Not that one. And, um, so we're, what we're going to go to is we have to go to here. So let me just warp here. Okay, we're here. And the first thing you notice when you warp here is this, this hole, this air coming out of it. So I get down there, it's pretty simple. You just use your paraglider. You kind of have to use thing. You don't want it if you do too hard to take fall damage. Oh, be prepared. There's lots of guardians. You have to know how to perfect block. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my armor, which gives me a bit more resistance against their, against their beam. So if they hit me, it won't be as bad. And uh, if you don't know how to take out a guardian. It's pretty simple. <laughs> So yeah, as you saw there, you just gotta time it right when the beam hits your shield. So I got rid of all the guardians, and uh, there's usually a big chest right here. This is where you came from, and it took me a while to find it, but when I was getting a travel medallion, but it's actually behind here, and there's, there's a chest right here, but it's gone because, you know, I already got it, and it's around right here. And, uh... So now it's time to show you uh, how the travel medallion actually works and what it does. Okay guys, I'm back here. This is the spot where I was for my uh, rupee farming video for all the dragons. <clears throat> and uh, this is the travel medallion. Uh, so basically what you do is when you get it, it comes in here. You find it in that treasure chest. You press place. And then boom. Now for some reason, if you place the certain spots, it spawns a few feet away. Uh, that's why it's like kind of stuck in there, but it still works. Ooh, ox.
Let me just get that. So let me try placing it here to give you a better idea. You can only place it one place at a time. So here it is. And if I want to warp there, then you just go onto your map. And you see it's right here. So you don't have to zoom on the way in. You just press travel. And then you can travel there. And I'm just going to leave this part uncut. So it's so I know it's not fake. There's no trickery editing. No, you can actually place it pretty much anywhere you want. Boom! Look where you are. Right here. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the travel mailing. That is what it does. You can only place it one thing at a time to place it. Just place. And then it deletes the other place to put it. It's right here. Boom. Thank you for watching. If if you found this video helpful in any way, just a little tiny bit, please leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, and stay tuned for more Breath of the Wild guides, trips, ticks, videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.